Hey guys, what's up? This is Ventus Thunder back here again. And um, I had actually recorded this video of what was going to be my Japanese collection earlier today. But, um, uh, what was I going to say? Well, the shine of the cards, because all the Japanese cards are so much more brilliant than the American cards. It wasn't really apparent since the time of day. Um, it was pretty early in the day, I'd say. And um, this light wouldn't have as much effect. Uh, when I wanted to show you the shine of the cards and everything. So I guess without further ado we can introduce Mr. Gundam Deathside Hell back into the uh, picture. It's now about what? 7? 7 p.m.? Yeah, it's about 7 p.m. So um, if I say about one more time, I swear I've been watching way too much hockey and my accent is... I'm developing a retarded Canadian accent, not even kidding. So anyway... Yeah, as I said before in my updates video, I'm going to be ordering three of this. I think I've made my mind up. Three of this one. Three more Dragon Blasts, since I've only got one EX from it. Uh, two more Dragon Blades, since I have all three. Uh, I'm not going to order any more Dark Rush, since I just got a... Since I'm going to get a Gardevoir Shiny in the mail. And I'm going to order one Red Collection Booster Box. That is, um... The Noble Victories expansion in English, because I want all those cards in Japanese so I can trade off all my English ones. And since there's only nine holos in the set, I figure one box will complete the set for me because I'm the only ultra. I'm not really interested in getting all the super rares for that set, Noble Victories. So, anyway, this is my Japanese collection box. All of my holos are in these boxes. I'll, I guess I can show these really quick. Here's a few really old holos, and I don't know how I got them. Anyway, they're all Japanese, obviously. So here's some stuff. There's Light Arcanine, Articuno from Fossil, Ursaring, Blaine's Arcanine, um, Erica's Venusaur, Skarmory, I think this is Dark Tyranitar, Sabrina's Alakazam, and Dark Porygon too. They're just some random old Neo series, or Gym series, or whatever cards. And then a lot of my other Japanese holos are in the binders. Um, got it over here somewhere. So, uh, here's a ghetto sort of binder with, yeah, this is some English stuff. And then here's all the Japanese stuff. You got the Zapdos G, Charizard, blah, blah, blah. More Japanese holos. And that's that. Here's Supreme Victors. More Japan. I'm going to be ordering a Pulse of the Frontier booster box. That is Platinum 3. I only had like three packs of this before and I didn't really get anything great. So I'm going to be ordering a whole booster box of that. Diamond and Pearl 2, one of my favorite sets. Rising Rivals in English. Just basically here's all the Japanese holos and stuff. And that's pretty much it for that older stuff. Then I have individual binders for Heart Gold, Soul Silver. And all those other newer sets, but I'm sure you've already seen all those, so no need for me to bore you with the holos from those sets. But we can move on to the more recent, more recently released Dark Explorers set, also known as Dark Rush. Here I've put all my holos from well, the first few are Dragon Selection, and there's black and white threes in the back, so I'll do black and white three first. So we've got these Hail Blizzard cards. Dupes are for trade, obviously. Or if you really want me to throw in one of my duplicates as an extra or something in your trade, just, like, tell me. That Articuno is English. I don't know what it's doing in there. Leave Annie. I did not buy a Psycho Drive booster box, but... Yeah, those are the black and white three cards. I did buy two boxes of black and white four Dark Rush. A.K.A. Dark Explorer, so duplicates are for trade. I have four of this freaking thing in English. Nice card, blah, blah, blah. I had three of these. I gave one away as an extra. Two Electrosses, one Crocodile. Now, this is my pet peeve with the English Dark Explorers set. You know how Zoroark's a good card and all, right? Works really well in the dark deck. Well, it's holo in Japanese, and it looks almost like an ultra rare because all the holos in Japanese do, quite frankly. I've got a holo silver border and everything. But no, it's just a regular freaking rare in English. They completely made it look crappy. It looks so much better in Japanese, honestly. Kling Kling, Blissey, and the Umbreon promo from the campaign pack. 
So there's that stuff. And then I've got some a few dragon selection cards here, I guess. Starting off the dragon type, my favorite. And, uh, of course, you're going to be seeing a lot more of the Dragon Blade, Dragon Blast sets from me in the future. Well, near future. So basically in here is like the whole set minus the EXs and Ultra Rares and other stuff. So let me just grab that out really quick. I just said out. Um, and how do you grab it out anyway? I just, I'm failing today, guys. So anyway, let me put all the cards in here. I basically decided to sleeve up the whole set. Um, here's the stuff. It's really slippery, obviously. You got the holos and all this stuff. Basically, I'm going to make a video showcasing these sets after I get the other boxes. I have all the holos, but I need more EXs and stuff. And the Dragon Blast, that is the green one, it looks similar to what was in the orange Dragon Blade one. So, uh, yeah, don't worry about that. I'll get uh, more stuff up later. But, um, yeah, I have these sleeves in the background, too. Those are the High Dragon Guard Chomp sleeves. They look really nice. So, of course, here's the most important part of this video. I'll include a link to the time in the description so that you're not going to be bored watching normal holos and stuff because, no, we're spoiled. we got to have super rares and other stuff like that. So, yeah. I'll start off with this big stack of Japanese super rares. So, that is not going to help. I'll just use the light if I want to show you the shininess or something of a card, but here's the first for Alligator EX, spotted off Professor Oak. It's a deck card, I think. Another steal I got from Professor Oak here. Uh, it's a Deoxys EX, super rare. From the really rare EX Deoxys set. It's hard to find in Japan, the Breaking Blue Sky. In fact, I just bought a Salamence EX in English from that set. And then that's all, really all I have with the old EXs. I'd be interested in acquiring more if you've got some. Let's move on to the level Xs. You start off with Garchomp. Yeah, the lighting's already much better here than it was um, earlier in the day, because I got a window over there, and the sun is just shining through in the most annoying way. So here you got my personal favorite Gardevoir level X. Never got it in English. Another one of my favorites, Glaceon level X. Some of them are first edition, some of them aren't. It usually doesn't matter, but any booster boxes I buy are generally first edition, so... I guess I acquire them mostly, yeah. See this Magnezone from uh, Diamond and Pearl 5. This one is indeed first edition. I really like how they have the holo effects on the magnets and stuff. You can see the drapes. Maybe it would be easier if I move them away a little. Let more light shine through. Let's try it now. That's slightly better. I don't know. Next up, you've got Rhyperior Level X. This is also one of my favorites. In fact, uh, my old channel name was Riperior Owns. I had to close that one earlier because of unprecedented troubles. Uh, but yeah, if any of you knew me by that name, this is still one of my favorite Pokemon. It's first edition. Whoa, what the hell am I doing? Uh, put that the wrong way. And then here are a couple reprints from Intense Fight in the Destroyed Sky. Here's your Charmeleon. You cannot see the plus little fancy old holo on that. Yeah, you can sort of see it with the light on. Same with the Charizard. There you can sort of see those. You know, they, the Japanese put a different layer of holo onto their ultra rares and level X's and stuff. This card didn't even cost me $10 on Professor Oak, so I'm real happy I have it. It's completely mint. Uh, here's my champ. Maybe you can see the... Yeah, whatever, it's pretty much a lost cause. But from now on, all these Japanese level X's will have that fancy extra plus sign holo on it. And since this is a Japanese video, I might as well just take the time to show it. Dusknar level X. Not first, but it cost me like $6, so whatever. Palkia G level X. Oh look, you can see the my hand in the reflection of the camera. So yeah, there's Palkia G. Then his best buddy, Dialgaji. This one took me a little while to get. Obviously, I've got a video up 
with this one. This one's first edition, the Palkia is not, but I couldn't care less. Now, these are the ones I actually pulled. Pulled this one out of my Diamond and Pearl 2 booster box over there. There's Luxury GL. And the card I wanted most from that box was this guy, Flygun, level X. And I, well, obviously I also got him. Uh, this is, uh, but honestly, if you choose Flygun or Salamence, I'll take Flygun every time, even though Salamence is technically better. I think Flygon's a badass. Those were both first. This one is too. I ordered this one off Professor Oak, probably six dollars or something. Uh, that's Alakazam 4 level X. Lucians. And then I've got these few reprints. Don't really care about these too much, but I want to keep them. So you have the two Pikachus and the two Rotoms. That's Fan and Heat Rotom. And then Normal Pikachu and Flying Pikachu. So the next set I bought was Advent of Arceus. Or Arceus, or whatever you want to call it. And of course, I get the level X I wanted once again, Salamence. In fact, I got a three level X box, and I have two Salamence level Xs. So one of these may be for trade. It's tough to pry off me, though, because you're going to have to have something I really, really want since this is one of my favorite cards. Couldn't believe I was lucky enough to get both of those. It seems whenever I buy a Japanese box, I get exactly what I want. So with the new Pulse of the Frontier box, it'll give me that Japanese version of Rayquaza's C-Level X, right? <laughs> well, we'll see. Here's Gengar, the other one I got from that box. Sinister smile right there. Just freaking creepy, man. Now you got Bagon, shiny. Sort of see that holofoil effect. That's the shiny I wanted too. And then you get four Arceus cards. And uh, let me show you the effect on this one. These are actually pretty cool. The water one's probably the most beautiful. Yeah, you can see that, just that weird effect on it where it sort of, yeah, you know, I don't know what the hell to call it, but there's water, here's fighting. Metal, or steel, I call it steel. And then, finally, you have the normal type Arceus. That's the one I really wanted, obviously. So that concludes the EX and Level X era of my Japanese cards. <clears throat> and moving on with the Primes and stuff. So we'll start off with Feraligator Prime. Typhlosion Prime, I have one of these for trade as well. One Japanese and one English if you're interested. Uh, Meganium Prime. This one's cute. Ampharos Prime. Awesome card. Blissey. This one's alright, I guess. I needed it to complete the set. The only one I don't have from Hard Gold and Soul Silver is Don Fan. That's coming in English in the mail from Canada. Uh, he's Crobat. Yeah, I completed the Soul Silver Primes. And then in Japan, they don't suck, so they give you both your Legend cards at the same time. Here's a Lugia Legend. Badass card. And then the other one. Let's try to get it about right. Uh, here's ho -Oh Legend. Nice card is, well, cards. So, there goes those, and we'll move on with the Revived Legends expansion. I did not buy a Clash at the Summit booster box, although I probably should have. And we'll move on with that, and the new Japanese EXs and stuff. So we'll start off with the Legend card from, uh, Revived Legend. Let me try and get it right. Nope, that's not right. Suicune and Entei Legend. You never have to worry about freaking halves in these, though, so. Like I did with my Kyogre Groudon in English, that pissed me off to know it. I had four top halves and I had to buy the bottom half. Real frustrating. Here is Raikou Suicune Legend. I don't know why, but I really like the artwork, especially on that Raikou. It just looks like it was legitimately hand drawn, it looks so nice. I don't know why, but that was my favorite one, always. Here's the only ultra rare I've ever pulled from a Japanese box. Of course, I hope to get some shinies from my new boxes. I, unless you count the full arts as ultra rares, because I have pulled three of those. 
Mm, here is the ALF lithograph numero tres. Well, number three in English, I guess. Um, it it doesn't even look that epic, but it's a freaking expensive card since it was hard to find in Japan. And then that that Revive Legends box gave me like everything I want. I got all four primes too. Here's the first one. This is a reverse one, which means it's rarer. Uh, I got Steelix Prime, one of my favorite Pokemon. I'm a sucker for big and strong Pokemon, I don't know why, but... Anyway, there's Kingdra. The Primes in this set were just great, I have to say. This is my personal favorite Prime, Taranatar. This would make a great avatar, wouldn't it? Well, I'll see if I can do it eventually. Alright, now Gardevoir is occupying that spot, and when I get my shiny Gardevoir, that'll definitely occupy the spot for a long time coming. And finally, last and, yeah, probably least, you have Lantern Prime, which is still a nice card. I hate it when people say last but not least, especially when, like, the last thing you're showing them sucks. So, okay, we'll move on and move up to the Japanese EX cards. We start off with Tornadus. This guy's for trade. None of the other ones are. Don't even ask until I get a duplicate. We got a freaking expensive Mewtwo. Uh, I pulled this one as well from Psycho Drive. Not for trade unless you've got a full art. None of these are for trade unless you've got a full art. Except for the full arts. Those aren't for trade. <laughs> uh, Darkrai, another freaking expensive card. Love this one. I would have loved to get the full art too, but this one is just fine for me. Considering I've got all the EXs from Dark Rush, here is the last one. It's Raikou. And I have the full art of this one. I'll show you that one soon. The full arts are just the most badass cards I've ever seen. Don't try to tell me otherwise. I bought a Hail Blizzard box. Here's Kyurem. 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 I don't know how to freaking say his name. But I've got this one in English too, so the English one's for trade. I wouldn't mind parting with that one. Uh, I got Groudon EX. This guy is really awesome. It's expensive as well. Yeah, I, I never knew how expensive Tornadus was going to be. But anyway, I like Ente Entei better. And he's not as expensive as Tornadus is in the US. What is Tornadus? Like 35 45 on the sites. It's just crazy inflation. So anyway, there's Entei. And uh, here's what most people would have been waiting for. The full arts will start off with what I deem to be the worst, even though it's still a valuable and nice card. Here is Regigigas full art. I'm just trying to show the crazy looking holo effects on all those. Don't know if you can pick up on all that, but since Regigigas covers most of the card, this one's not nearly as impressive as the other ones. Should try to move my light a little. Almost burn my finger in the process. Uh, now here you've got Raikou full art. This is the favorite one that I've pulled. It's really freaking awesome. If you just look at all that, um, the circles radiating sort of from the center. It just looks amazing. And it's valuable. Even more valuable in English. Like, if I ever pulled a Japanese, I mean, an English dark ray full art, I would trade that crap for a Japanese one and something else because it's more expensive. Now, this is the last one I've pulled. It's a Terrakion EX full art, and uh, I didn't really like this one too much when I saw the scans, but of course when you pull something, you got to warm up to it. And uh, if you look at the boulders, like, you see that right there? Let's use the zoom feature instead, see if this thing can do any good. Yeah, you got that whole sort of uh, radiating image as well, so. Actually, I could just keep it zoomed in for this next guy. Here's Rayquaza Full Art. This is my favorite one, obviously. I got this in a trade off of Arceus X96. It's still completely mint, man. Haven't damaged your card at all. It is absolutely epic, and it's also going to be frickin' expensive when it comes out in the US. Just you guys wait. This is my favorite Full Art. Even if I get Mew, I'll still like this guy more, because he is frickin' epic. Actually, I might as well give Raikou the zoom-in treatment as well. <laughs> so, let's zoom in on this guy. You can just see the... No, you can't see. Whoa! 
focus, you fool. Or maybe I'll zoom out and then go back in. There we go. Jesus Christ, this camera is actually a pretty decent camera. Anyway, here I sort of tried to zoom in on the Raikou. So there it is, epic as always. I don't have any problems with any full arts, and I will freaking gladly trade for more Japanese full arts. I'll give you, well, not really everything, anything you want, but pretty much, yeah. So we got the Dragon Blade ones now. I don't have a single regular one from Dragon Blast, because Mew EX was part of the deal that I sent to Arceus X96. I've got the Eureja Steel. That one will probably be for trade. Rayquaza. This one's not, unless I get another one, because it's really badass. And we're almost done, finally. Here's Ho-Oh after like friggin' 25 minutes. No, 20 minutes. Here's Ho-Oh EX. And back to another Tornadus for trade, as I said. And, well, I don't know why I have this last card in here, but I think it's a lot cooler than the other Japanese old cards I have. It's a Dragonite from Fossil that I ordered off Professor Oak for like 350 or some crap. And I'm like, oh, I have to have that. So yeah, that is my Japanese collection. I will be bolstering this collection significantly um, once I get my boxes after graduation. So just stay tuned on that stuff. I'm sorry if if this video is too damn long. And if you're still listening to me now, give yourself a pat on the back and give this video a thumbs up.